Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney with the Quantitative Reasoning Center. After you finished the assigned homework for Calculus 3, I bet you feel like you've had a real workout. Well, the math class is the weight room for the mind. A strong, disciplined, and well-trained mind is important for officers in the modern Air Force. Today we're having a look at section 12.5, number 18, and number 60. Let's start with number 18, which asks us to find parametric equations for the line segment and take care because I'm changing the numbers a little bit so you still get the benefit of solving these at home. So we have two points. Let's call one 5, 3, and 1. And let's call the other one 10, 6, and negative 3. And let's go ahead and have a careful problem solving framework uh, to use. So the big idea is to use the displacement vector to find the parametric equation of the line segment. It's told there'd be no spelling. I was thinking Arby's between the two points. All right, and to develop this, uh, that, in other words, we need to make our plan. So here's sort of P1, and here's P2, and we want the line segment between the two points. So we can think of this as X1, Y1, Z1, and this point we'll call X2, Y2, Z2, and these are just two Cartesian points in three-dimensional space. So one thing we want to do in our plan is we want to compute the displacement vector between the points. And let's just suppose that our displacement vector, if we end up with D is equal to something like A, B, C, and then we can write down our parametric equations rather directly, x would be x1 plus at, y would be y1 plus bt, and z would be z1 plus ct. And now we need to consider our domain of t, and t is going to go from 0 to 1. And the reason that, that this approach works for determining the parametric equation of a line segment between two points is because at t equals 0, you end up at, at p1, x1, y1, and z1. And at t equals 1, you end up at that point plus the displacement vector between the two points, which puts you at the second point. All right, so that's the development. Now, uh, to evaluate, let's go ahead and compute this displacement vector. D is going to be, uh, well, the vector, and then this is P1 and this is P2. So it's uh, 10, 6, negative 3 minus 5, 3, 1. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 6 minus 3 is 3. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So now we can identify A, B, and C. And we can finish evaluating x of t is going to be x1, which was 5, plus a, which is 5, times t. 
y of t is going to be y1, which is 3, plus b, which is 3, times t. And then z of t is going to be z1, which is 1, plus c, which is negative 4, times t. All right, so these are equations, parametric equations for that line segment, and we need to note that t goes from 0 to 1. And now let's zoom out for a minute and think about how we would assess to double check and make sure that our answer is correct. So to assess, let's plug in t equals 0 and t equals 1, and this should yield p1 and p2. So for t equals 0, x of 0 is simply equal to 5, y of 0 is simply equal to 3, and z at t equals 0 is simply equal to 1. So we got our starting point back. Now we can double check at t equals 1. Well, at x equals 1, at t equals 1, x equals 5 plus 5 or 10. y is 3 plus 3 or 6. And z is 1 minus 4 or negative 3. And indeed, we do get our second point back, 10, 6, negative 3. So our assessment shows that our solution is correct.